Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom. So I, uh, I'm just hanging out at the house. Uh, uh, been a long day. Ten hours today, folks. It was wide open. I'm talking about every place in the facility was wide open. It was full throttle today. There was no breaks. Well, I mean, me, I'm a, I'm a lead over a certain department on second shift. Now, first shift left us a disaster of a mess. So, of course, I had to clock in early, you know, and clean up first shift's mess. And get everything running smooth and ready to run for when first shift. So, I had to clock in, get everything going, get everything set up, everything back in order. And, um... So it's been a long, long day. I've seen a lot of stuff happen today. I tell you what. But we made it through there. Hey, we made it out alive. Do it again tomorrow. But uh, I'm just hanging out, you know, kind of rewinding after a long work day, relaxing a little bit. And I just read a little article. Just doing a little uh, online searching surf online surfing if you will you know i'm a uh i like to uh read uh information and learn new things i'm never too old to learn so i uh come across an article out of chicago there's a hospital located in chicago now the uh the officials are the uh health directors if you will, they called them health directors and the people who manage this hospital up in Chicago. Now, due to this coronavirus, the management at this hospital in Chicago, they're mulling over the idea of not resuscitating people who need CPR due to the coronavirus. They're mulling over that idea because if you have to give CPR... And do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Now, if that person has a coronavirus, and you're putting your mouth up against their mouth, or you're touching them, touching their chest to do pumps, pump air into their lungs on their chest, you know, you have to touch their body. You know, they, um, the hospital is concerned that uh, being that close in contact to resuscitate a patient or resuscitate anybody in the hospital facility that that might very well spread the coronavirus just through resuscitating somebody who needs CPR or something. Now this is becoming amazing. Now Chicago has been hit pretty hard with the coronavirus not as bad as New York City but now Chicago hit pretty hard with this coronavirus because Chicago is a, a large city with a very large population of people. Now this this hospital, now uh, there's a board of directors at the hospital, you know, and they're having a an uh, around the table open discussion here about uh, resuscitating to resuscitate or not to resuscitate. So they're um, discussing and mulling over this idea. And one of the administrators happened to uh, comment that um, these uh, CPR uh, uh, machine uh, mouthpieces have a little filter in between your mouth and the person you're resuscitating's mouth. So you blow air through this little device and it, it, it uh, goes through the filter and into their mouth. So there's a filter in between you and the person who could possibly have coronavirus. But now, they're mulling over the idea that uh, it's kind of um, life-threatening. You know, they consider that, you know, they're saying, oh, well, uh, you know, that could be a risk factor. A lot of risk factors involved there, touching somebody that could very well have the coronavirus. And you have to give CPR and resuscitate the individual. 
So they are, um, you know, they're having a, uh, taking it very seriously here. And uh, the management is doing, taking very serious steps. And they are really and truthfully leaning more towards um, just letting the individual decease and die if they need uh, to be resuscitated with CPR. Now this is becoming serious, folks. If they are more, if the the directors at a hospital in a city the size of Chicago are mulling over an idea such as this, this pandemic, this coronavirus, is reaching epidemic proportions. Now this is becoming out of control here this is getting out of order here now something has gone terribly terribly wrong with this medical industry this medical field they're short on nurses doctors they're asking retiree retired doctors and nurses to come help with the influx of new patients at these hospitals these hospitals are overwhelmed, short-staffed, don't have enough proper equipment, medical equipment. This is becoming utterly, utterly out of control here, folks. Wow. I would strongly suggest staying far away. From emergency rooms, hospital facilities, medical uh, places where you go if you're sick. Try to stay away from these places. If someone you know is sick, you might not want to go to the emergency room with them. Because you never know what is coming through these emergency room doors. This day and age. Um, this is becoming... A health crisis of biblical, biblical proportions. I've never in my life heard of such madness. There is nothing in the green earth that can ever help a situation such as this. This is a health crisis. A disease virus of big proportions that has never been seen before. Should we resuscitate that individual or not? Wow. Wow. That book of Revelations talked a lot about them end days. Them vi diseases, viruses, severe weather, tornadoes, earthquakes in diverse places. The viruses and disease part is unfolding right before our very eyes of biblical proportions. Resuscitate or not to resuscitate says the doctor. Wow. Oh, wow. Shalom. Shalom.